Hey guys, we're Zeb and Jamie from Jamie Ray Vintage. We are the curators and collaborators with DIY Paint and the new Cottage Color One Step line. One of our favorite things is that we can curate this line based off of colors that we found from our travels. Some of our favorite things we've seen have been in cottages in Europe, England, France, and those types of places where we can see how the old world is still being used in the new world. Cottage color line is cozy and sophisticated and we know you will love it as much as we do. Some of the most amazing things about this paint is that it's a single step. You're gonna to wanna to clean your piece, lightly sand if it's super shiny, you can get right into painting. This paint is self-leveling. It's also got a long open time. So if you're trying to manipulate it, do a specialty finish, it allows you time to do that. You don't have to be super professional with the way that you're using your brush or holding it at a special angle. You just want to put it on there nice and smooth and it'll lay flat. It has a built-in top coat, so if you're just wanting to do one color, you can paint a few coats and then you're done. No sealer needed. One of our favorite ways to use this single step paint is to layer it underneath as a base coat. Do the original clay base formula from DIY paint over the top that builds a lot of texture. This paint is all natural with no VOCs, so you can paint anywhere and not have to worry about wearing a mask or having good at ventilation. You can just paint and go. Something important to remember when you're using the cottage color line is that you need to stir it. And I'm not talking just shake it, Stir it all the way to the bottom of the container and really mix that up. Because it has a built-in sealer, it can sometimes separate. I like to put a knife in it when I'm done, pull it up, and as long as the viscosity is the same all the way down, I've done my job stirring it up. Once you're ready to possibly distress your piece, our favorite grit of sandpaper for distressing cottage color is 320 and above. Because it has a built-in sealer, go lightly and make sure that you're not going to peel that up, especially when the paint is fresh. We're a big fan of spraying paint and the cottage color sprays really nicely without having to add a lot of additives or water to get your paint to flow well. The formula lends itself to spraying or brushing because of that self leveler, it works really well. It's a durable top coat that's rated for outdoors, so you can use it indoors or outdoors on all your favorite projects. Last but not least, because of the built-in sealer, once you're done painting, you're done. You don't have to seal if you don't want to distress or do other steps like waxing. You don't have to do anything else. The project is ready to go. The nice thing is if you are planning on doing some decorative waxing, you don't have to seal first. You can go straight to waxing. Yeah, because of the built-in top coat, that wax will wipe off just the way you need it to without getting too dirty. One of our most favorite things about this paint because we wax a ton of thrift flips. Cottage color isn't just for furniture. You can use it on your holiday crafting, your thrift flipping, and basically anything that you can think to paint, you can pretty much paint with cottage color, or at least we've tried once. If you guys are wanting to locate a retailer that carries the JRV Cottage Color by DIY Paint, we're gonna put the retailer map below.